before I was saved, I knew I was on my way to uh, no good fate. Um, and to even think that life would just end and there's nothing in the afterlife would mean that, that life is literally pointless and that everybody should just live for themselves as much as possible like they do because they think this lie is true. Um, you know, and sin as much as possible. Um, live in the moment or whatever. Um, I've been through that. And basically, when you know you're not saved, you don't really have much of an incentive to really uh, keep going and build for your future because you know that you're eventually going to die and you think there's nothing in the afterlife. But it's even worse than nothing. There's, there's literally hell waiting for all people who reject Jesus Christ. Um, so it's not just nothing in the afterlife. Um, there's really something in the afterlife, either heaven or hell. Um, so now that I know I'm saved, I have an incentive to build on my life and to keep um, moving forward in my life in, in every way possible. Like, um, and yeah, I had, when I was younger, you know, before I got saved, but also before I, I sort of fell off into this path of, of death, basically, and, and living for death and living in a manner that I was preparing myself for death. Um, before I went on that path, I had these dreams, you know, I wanted to build towards a future and do good things in my life and, uh, you know, get really good at music, you know, because I loved music. Um, you know, and thankfully, um, you know, the truth that's available to be heard in music helped lead me to understand the truth of the Lord, but also I think it was more the other way around even. It's like the truth that was all around me of the Lord throughout my life is what uh, inspired the music so much. But um, I believe, you know, the music also has these qualities to it that show us, wow, there's uh, this wonderful creator that created everything. Um, and so, you know, I wanted to do a video talking about how there's a lot of reasons why I believe what I believe. Uh, I believe it because it is the truth. I'm not just putting on a show and, and I'm not trying to just comfort myself. Um, I'm glad that it is the truth and I am comforted by it, but I don't just believe it because I need comfort. It's comforting and I believe it because it's the truth. Um, and thankfully it is the truth, but there's enough evidence um, proving that it's the truth. And so, you know, people write off the idea of the Bible, um, but that is completely contingent on on the Bible not being true at all in any way, Jesus never having done anything on earth, um, but that's not the truth, you know? Jesus is the real history of our earth. We don't live on a heliocentric model universe. Um, and uh, it's just that simple. Like, we live in the universe that God created, so it's less to do with, um, <coughs> with understanding it more to do with just accepting it and believing it. Um, most people just don't accept what is true and, and they're not believing what is true. And it's, it's a terrible eternal mistake to make um, if you go your entire life thinking that you'll just be fine and you don't need to worry about what our, our own history and our own, uh, you know, world that God created uh, is about. If you die without coming to terms with the truth, um, you made an eternal mistake, you know? And so, you know, I was always, I've always been afraid of, um, of other people dying too, you know? Um, but the thing is, even if I had these people as my friends still, if, uh, it's like they're already dead. Like if they end up dying without Jesus eventually, it doesn't matter if we were friends to the end of our lives, uh, and had the best friendship in the world. If they die, it's literally like their life, if they die and go to hell, that is, if they die unsaved, it's literally like their life was, was meaningless and it shouldn't even have happened. It's like you never were friends and you should be sorry that, um, for them and, and you should be sorry that you didn't do anything to help lead them to the Lord, you know? Um, it really is a matter of eternal life or death and there's a big lie going on telling people that the Bible is not true. That's a lie.